So we are moving. I Cohen see. just cut my hair. <laughs> oh, very cool. This is what, this, is a, this video is going to be a couple things. Oh, I thought you were going to do this. It's, it's been however many days <laughs> since Chrome. It's been two days since my last update. This is my third update. It's been 45 days since Korea had first case of coronavirus. This is update video four. It's day 55 since coronavirus. It's March 16th. It's been 55 days since coronavirus came to South Korea. It's been 73 days since coronavirus came to Korea. Uh, no, 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 this video, this video is gonna be a couple of things. It's gonna be a little video about our apartment. It's gonna be a little video about what it's like to move in Korea. And I guess that's about it. What are some memories you have from this apartment that you liked that we had together? We hosted so many barbecue parties here. Last meal of 2019. And I couldn't see how I was like, where is she? <laughs> Stretch your mouth. She's stretching. Yes, what a rare treat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's been some good memories. We have some photos. <laughs> well, we were like basically in this apartment throughout the entire course of our pregnancy. Um, obviously, the first day bringing Will back. You brought Will home, it's so weird. You want me to take your hand? It's okay. Will's first day to his apartment. Welcome home, Will. Welcome home, buddy. This is the kitchen. Look at that. You even have Christmas, Christmas presents on your head. We could put him in that thing. I mean, I think too in our one of our first apartment tours, we mentioned like this was our first apartment we've ever gotten together. Welcome to our apartment tour. This is actually a really big deal for us because this is the first apartment that we've ever had. I see your parents came and visited. Oh yeah, parents see Will for the first time here. Yeah. He's like, I don't know you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I, know. I got a kiss in there, didn't I? I yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, I don't want to drop him. <laughs> <He'll> break. <laughs> Hello, Cohen. Hi, how are you guys? You got gotcha. you. Okay, one, two, three. Birthday. Oh, we hosted a Christmas party here like a week after we had Will. Oh, that's right. That was crazy. That was so tired. Thank you guys. Have we so glad you. Ita ga kamion. Oh. <laughs> 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 Alright, well anyways, um we just moved a lot of our stuff yesterday. We raised our packet. Yeah. Take from take just from the <laughs> so moving in Korea is kind of weird sometimes and how to do it is very different than the rest of the world it seems like. So we're just going to cut back to when we were moving, actually packing up stuff. We did a little quick breakdown of what it's like to move here. First of all, you have to find an apartment. So this journey actually starts a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Then, then what do you have to do? You have to 
find a Pudongsan. Kojunggum or the Chonsei here is super high. Minimum is like $10,000 down payment. Up to $50,000, up to $100,000, $200,000 for nicer places. I've seen places for Sahaho. People take out loans to rent apartments here. So if you want to find like a two room, three room, or even a one room, the cheapest place is to go to the villas. Don't go to apartments, don't go to the office styles. If you really want to go cheap, you go Panjia. You get two, three room, that's one of those half ground ones. Uh, you saw it in Kiseng Chung or Parasite. You can do like a 10,000 down payment and then like 300 a month. They're not all crappy, some For, of them are yeah, really nice. Some are nice. Your grandma, my grandma lives in one of Your parents are living in one right my now. My parents are in one too. One of my friends lives in one. They're so cheap. Like if you can do the 10,000 down payment or less sometimes, like uh, 5,000, yeah. it will only be $300 a month, maybe 500. And then there's two apps you can use Chikpang. Pabang. Three room apartments, generally they're Pojunggum or down payment is like, like 30,000 and up. If you do a lower Pojunggum, then you just have to pay a higher monthly uh, rent. So you could do like 5,000 or 10,000 for a three room, but you might be paying 1,000, 1,200 or $1,500 a month. If you want to see a tour of our apartment, we've made a tour video before. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Anyone who's moving in Korea, what you gotta do. Um, Find a good little And then last but not least, coronavirus. Or why are we moving during coronavirus? Uh, actually, when we first started looking at apartments, it was two months or so ago when coronavirus was a little bit of a bigger deal here in Korea. And when we were first viewing apartments, I remember the real estate person taking us around being like a lot of people don't want to show their houses especially if they have kids and masks were completely mandatory yeah you have to wear masks when you're going to view houses we felt like we weren't going to find a house because of like our budget not because of coronavirus yeah are you crying buddy are you sad to leave this place why do you think it's so nostalgic when you leave somewhere <laughs> I think it's because like as humans we like attach and we've attached so many memories to this place. Yeah. Being not parents. <laughs> being pregnant. Having being pregnant and having will. All the people that came and visited, I guess. Yeah. It's like we attach all those memories here and we're it's almost like we're leaving them here. In a sad way. They are, it's so sad. Thank goodness we have Insta story. Anyways, I don't know what it's called. The only thing we could think of was mementos. This apartment is a giant memento. It's a giant memento. It is kinda of sad because like you're actually leaving the thing that holds all those memories. They detach all those memories too. We're gonna leave some of our memories basically actually. Anyways we gotta keep moving. Yeah. Bye, house. 